as long as you're, you know, you're happy, I'm gonna support you, like, in whatever you do, so. What a fucking loser. What's going on, you guys? This is your boy, TOS King. Okay. I was trying to be funny, it just came off annoying. What's going on? I hope we're doing well. Yeah. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Guys, we're going to react to this video today. It's called uh, by Cut. It's called Sex Workers and Their Partners Play Truth or Drink. Now, it shocks me that uh, sex workers have legitimate partners. I I, I think that it's a losing game. I, I, I think that if you're the partner who's not having all the sex with strangers, I think that you are a chump ass. But maybe people find love in different ways. You know, who am I to judge? I mean, I am here to judge because this is TOS Kinger and this is what we do on this channel, baby. So I guess you came back for me to talk more shit. So let's see what you guys think and let's see what i think and uh, yeah are there things you're uncomfortable with me doing not really already Even if I on a guy or <gasps> something that's fine oh no fucking dignity no one has anything anymore shit hello hi hi hello i'm vanity sins i'm john her husband <laughs> what are you doing what and we're playing truth or drink is that a man? With sex workers and their partners. Are you nervous at all? Kazumi. Do I look nervous? I know that bitch. Yeah. He's a virgin. It's his first time doing this. Yeah. Do you consider stripping sex work? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Is it? Sex work for me. I mean, just fucking anything that relies on your sex appeal, right? I basically mm. sleep with men for money. What's the dominant? <gasps> Putting a man in his place, slapping him around a little bit. If he needs a little chain, bond. Look at that thing. That's gonna provide that for him. I Look at that fucking person. Wow. I. I. Uh. uh. I think that's what a real dominatrix is. <laughs> it's a man, right? You want to start off with a shot? Sure. Yeah, why not? I, I call vodka. Okay, you can't vodka. What I'm gonna the take fuck? the big boy shot. You're about to be silly. Cheers to keeping it real. Period. Yeah, <coughs> yeah I'm going I'm to tell the truth the whole time. <laughs> Do you wish I joined you at work sometimes? No. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely not. Hell no. <laughs> I don't want you 60 feet, 70 feet, 80 feet. You lucky to even be in a building while I'm doing what I'm doing. Whoa. I wouldn't want you at work because I feel like I'm I'm being myself. And I, I feel like it's an outlet for me to express my sexuality. And I don't want you to internalize things like, oh, like, wow, she's making noises I haven't heard before. <gasps> it's Oh, shit. Guys, man. Imagine hearing that. Whoa. Imagine hearing that as a boyfriend, your girlfriend, literally saying to you, I don't want you to join me at work because I might be having more fun at work than I would be having with you. That's basically what she just fucking said. How terrible does that sound? That sounds horrible. If I heard that shit, I'd have a fucking conniption fit. I'm going to fix the way I'm sitting because your boy likes to be comfortable out in these streets. But yeah, man, that, um, that sucks, man. It's a lose-lose with this shit. You don't want to be the spouse or the fucking partner to a fucking a, a porn star or whatever the fuck. I think the other one's just a straight up hooker. This sucks, man. I, I, poor guys, bro. Just its own separate experience. Are there things you're uncomfortable with me doing? I'm gonna take a shot. Yeah. What are you taking a shot for? Truly, for real, for real? Like, are there things that you're uncomfortable with me doing? Like, I have to remove myself from even like think about what you do sometimes. Respect wow. that there's certain things that I just shouldn't know. Okay. Yeah. Are there things you're uncomfortable with me doing? This guy doesn't give a fuck about himself. He really? doesn't give a fuck. Like nothing? Even if I shit on a guy or something? Ew. That's fine. That's honestly fine. <laughs> no, but that's fine. Really the only rules that we have are just so focused around your just protection in general. And yeah, just making sure that you're safe at any point in time. He's definitely been by the door with like a gun or a knife. Oh yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Are there things What's you're with uncomfortable with me doing? Yes. I like to be the first person to do it with you. So when I like do things with other people first. It doesn't mean that they're special or like someone that I like love. Or She's whatever. already admitting she doesn't like, care about your rule. My work or this is an experience I personally want in my own life. Is 
Now this, this is the frustrating part, right? Is that it's so one-sided. When I'm looking at this, it's all about her because she is the topic of conversation, right? She is the sex worker. Fine, right? We can talk about that as a topic, but as soon as I start to be involved in this topic, then it becomes more about me and you together because this is a unity. This is not about just fucking you, okay? Now let me be real. She's saying, because I might do something with someone else first doesn't mean it has anything to do with you. Bitch, that's the fucking problem. It has nothing to do with me and everything to do with someone else and you're doing things that I don't like with someone that I don't know. And this is our sexual relationship. This is fucking crazy. Now, fine, that's your work. And this, listen, this fucking dumbass signed up for it. So I guess this is his, his life now. You just have to be comfortable with taking a back seat in your own life. That's fine. That's what she obviously cares about. Do you guys agree with me? Put your comments down below. I think I'm completely right on this. Is there anything that you don't want me to do? I don't care. I don't feel entitled to your body or your experiences in that way. Huh. I, I'm happy with what you give me and I don't expect anything. And I'm just happy when, when we have our moment. I think she's lying. I, I'd, I'd like to hear more about that. Do you that. ever think about me while you're working? I try not to, actually. <laughs> no. 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 Mm. I literally just like zone out. I just like completely just disassociate. When I'm with someone, I want to make sure that like I'm connecting with them fully. <gasps> Sometimes if I think about you while I'm talking oh. to guys, it moves me from the headspace of... Uh, that comment hurt, bro. I saw the pain in his face. I saw the pain in his face. Like I said, I, I hate to see when a man is losing. And it seems like a lot of men are losing nowadays. It, it fucking, it, it, it pains me, bro. Like what, what happened in your life to make you believe that this was okay, ever? You just, you lose, man. If you date a fucking porn star, you date a fucking sex worker, you fucking lose, it sucks. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and fuck your brains out to, I don't wanna hurt you, I want you to be okay. Do you want a water? Are you fine? One time somebody got upset because I didn't slap them hard enough. That's, that's, that's the type crazy. of thing no, that, that I'm doing. Sense. You know what sense. I mean? How does my job impact our sex life? It doesn't really. Really? I feel like it's unchanged. I feel like since I've transitioned, we've kind of had sex less often. Yes. Do you miss having sex more often? No. No? No. I think you should talk about... Um, What's the point? Dating as a guy and then dating me. Oh, well, this is different, yeah. Wait, what? Um, oh, yeah, so it is a tranny, right? The definitely changed. A hundred percent. Yeah. Because I still identify as gay. Yeah, so, he was gay when he yeah. met me. Yeah. All right. Wait, what? What did you think when you first found out I was a stripper? That you were hot as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think when you found out I was a hoe? I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. like, for, for, for uh, some context, like when I very first met her, her Instagram was super slutty. Um, I knew what I signed up for. So it didn't, it's not really shocking to me. It's like, I, I, I know that like this was a part of you, and like this is a part of you that I fell in love with. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. Why didn't you get a lap dance for me? Because I wanted to connect with you on an emotional level rather than a sexual level. I thought it was because you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> if we weren't together, would you hire me? No, I'm gay. Yeah, but you freaking hired me when we were like first dating. I swear, you were like the first person to like really introduce me. So to confusing, sex work. right? Like they talk about this. Is, they, they talk about their their life. I guess he's gay, and I guess that was a dude that transitioned into a female, but still has all the male parts. So he still doesn't mind sucking dick, but it looks like a chick. I, the. I know the, the wind's going, but that door just opened. We're haunted in here, baby. Woo! Yeah, no, that uh, that that's very interesting. So, um, I guess they don't have a lot of sex anymore because he likes the aesthetics of a man, and it looks like a woman now. Bro, what a we what? I'm touching on a basis I don't know. I'm like exploring the moon out here. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Please. Here we are nine years later. No. Yeah, exactly. Nine yeah. years. Wow. Highly recommend these two games. Keep it 100 and truth or fuck off with your shit. Do you see this as a long-term career for me? Yes. Do you want this to be a long-term career for me? Yeah, like I want you to do what makes you happy. You know what I mean? And it's oh. like in the grand scheme of things, if I'm going to be with you for the rest of my life, you know, like things are going to happen, things are going to change. But as long as you're, you know, you're happy, I'm going to support you like in whatever you do. So. What a fucking loser. 
<laughs> no backbone, no fucking, no, no gumption. Soy boys out here, man. They have no fucking say. Like, they, like, like their world, their own world doesn't belong to them, right? I've said that, er I said that earlier, but have some fucking balls, man. Have some opinions. There's gotta be something, some part of you where it's like, I don't like this. And you know what? You can say it. I know it's your girlfriend and you have to be okay with losing her, right? Like everyone goes through that moment, but I can't even imagine. I can't even fucking imagine. Th this is just why I guess there's people for everybody, man. I can't even imagine her enjoying hearing this. I mean, she's getting everything she wants anyway. She gets to fuck whoever she wants, right? You know, she gets to come home and he can like cuddle, fucking cook for her, right? She's got it made, but she's, she, she's like a dude. She's like a dude, man. She's getting that emotional support from the fucking dude, you know? It should be the other way around. It's weird. I don't know. What a weird fucking life. Do you see this as a long-term career for me? No. Ooh. I don't. No, I, no, I, don't, I, I mean, what? Do, how do you define long-term? Well, I want to do it till I retire, so. No, oh, come on. Like, like, that's ridiculous. No, I definitely see myself doing it long-term. I just feel like I was made for it. Like, I don't know. I'm just. Ah, like, look at his face. <laughs> do you remember? He's like, shit, I gotta put up with this fucking tranny fucking putting herself out on the street for until she retires, until she's fucking 60. God damn, he's in for a rude awakening. That's gonna fucking suck. Poor guy, man. He's like, I just wanted a dude out here, man. Now I got this dude transitioning into a chick and now I gotta deal with this tranny fucking fucking until she's 60. I don't even wanna bang her anymore. It, creature, I'm getting canceled. Remember who said, I love you first? Me. He tells me he loves me a lot. Do you love each other? I oh, he loved me. He asked you. Well, girl, we already know what my answer is. The question is really for you. Do you love me? Do I love you? Yeah. Uh, awkward. 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 I can't say yes and I can't say no. I don't want to risk it. Like I'd be nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'd be nervous to say that because if I say get that, your ass it's out like, there, man. You're not winning here. Set in stone. Pissed. Do you remember who said I love you first? Yes, I fucking do. Me, obviously. Yeah, yeah. he said I love you. I like the third date, if that. Uh, like if two weeks date. after oh, yeah. I met Mentally him. unstable, very mentally unstable. <laughs> Just fucking loser. No, I didn't tell him I loved him until six years into our relationship. <laughs> Aw, this is cute. Do you remember who it's said always gonna I be love him. you first? It was me, right? It was me. No, it wasn't. You I said it by accident. Oh, you were, you were just feeling it. But I didn't think you heard it, but then you said, what did you say? And then I was like, huh? And then he was like, wait, what did you say? And I was like, I love you. <laughs> I said it first. Yeah, of Aww. course. I think most people Fucking can't simps. be in an open relationship, especially one that's open as much as ours. You have to be all in. You have to be willing to have uncomfortable conversations more consistently. You guys should run a class, how to do open relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm Dave. I work at Cut. Fuck off, Dave. Wow, what an interesting video, man. Wow. Yeah, I figured that it's always going to be the person that is not fucking the most saying I love you, I think. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. It's the simp mentality, man. It's like, I, I fucking love you. I love you. <laughs> You're fucking other people, but I love you. That's okay. Do whatever you want. Hey, you can do whatever you want. This is your life. I'm just in it. Don't worry, sweetheart. You're the main character. Keep fucking that stranger. Dude, that was so, that was like, that fucked me up, man. That was a weird one. Cool. Yeah. Hey, man. Like I said, there's someone for everybody. And you know what? I'm here talking a lot of shit, right? That's what I do. I talk a lot of shit. I should have put this disclaimer at the beginning, but you guys know that I talk a lot of shit. This is what TOS Kinger does. Terms of service king. Er. So if you guys don't like what I say, put it down in the comments, man. I'd love to talk to you about it because I think that my opinions are just and I think that other people deserve to have their own opinions, right? Like free speech is there. Free speech is important. But I have my values and people have theirs and we can talk about it as much as we want. That's called a healthy society. So you know what, you guys? I appreciate you for coming back. TOS King is here for the long haul. So make sure you like and subscribe. Put down in the comments what you guys think, man. This was a great video. I had a really good time reacting to it. TOS Kinger, out.